Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three, three, four teams for you for the uh, Journey event. We have a Yellow Strix Restriction. We got a new troop, a new Loopy Journey troop that's yellow now. We finally got our yellow one, so now we have one for every single color. Every single color can now be spawned and infinitely looped. And we have every single color for every single color restriction. We already had that, but now we even have it, you know, more solidly, I guess. Uh, but here's the first team. These are all ideas for you. It's super early in the morning on a Monday, so you can mix and match these. Uh, I think all the troops I got are pretty much all the ones that are going to be the best, but you may be able to mix and match them, especially, like, the new troop uh, with, like, finesse or something would be really good. But here's what I went with, like, the super early battles. I just wanted Phonesia up front. I just wanted a Red Storm. She used to be the heaviest hitting troop in the entire game. So why would you not do that for, like, the early battles and then switch out of it later? So I went Phonesia, Dawnbringer, Egress. Is that the new troop's name? And then, uh, yeah, and then Harpy Mage. Harpy Mage is a second turn in power. Now, it does make a Dust Storm, so you got to be cognizant of that. But we have, like, a Fire Storm happening every turn. We have a Yellow Storm, I think, even going on. Um, storm Caller. On first one, I did a Sun Spear. Until, the, the, until Phonesia stops one-shotting. Once Phonesia stops one-shotting, switch into this team right here. I just, you know, mix, uh, move the troops around. So instead of having Phonesia at the front, now we have Egress at the front. So we have Egress, Phonesia, Dawnbringer, and Harpy Mage. So you got Egress to lo infinitely loop if you want to do that. You got Phonesia to hit everything at the same time and finish them off or just kill them in one shot. And you got Dawnbringer there if you want to get a barrier, if you want to, you know, hit everything in one, you know, AoE damage. And then Harpy Mage is your mana generator. Egress is your mana generator. Harpy Mage early. If you need it, if not, don't cast it. Just use the Egress to loop and loop and loop. We have all Strix on that team because I changed it to Strix to Stormcaller class. Once I moved Phonesia down, I changed it to Stormcaller class. So we could have all Strix because we're going to start looping with Egress. First team was Sunspear because we're not looping with Egress. Second team, when I moved Egress to the top, I changed it to Strix because we are going to loop with Egress. You have to use Egress, remember, it's the journey, it's the pathfinder, it uh, gives you more miles, and it does, like, double damage. So make sure you get her. I bought up to four in the shop, and then, you know, used some ascension orbs so I could have multiples of this awesome new journey troop. I uh, would definitely recommend that for anybody that can do it. Make sure you get multiples of this troop. Don't be getting just one, but I did put a team on the very end with just one, just in case uh, you didn't get, get more than one, because I know that's a thing. All right, here is the, uh, oh, I don't have Phonesia and I don't have Dawnbringer team, so you want to use something else. It's kind of similar, though. What I did with most of these teams was Egress up top, so you could infinitely loop if you want to. And then I would put something else that hits all enemies hard. That way you can finish things off if you want to. So you could hit each enemy one time and then cast your AoE damage and wipe them all out in one shot instead of hitting them all again one time. Um, the weapon there, I can't remember what it's called, but... Any explodey weapon will work. Just type in explode, and then I grabbed a weapon that wasn't blue, that wasn't purple, that wasn't red. I crossed all those out. We had a brown and, and, and yellow, and um, went with Fire God's Heart. It also gives mana to red allies, but I don't think that really helps with this team. But loop with the Egress, finish them off with High Priestess Chaska. Same thing as the first team, pretty much, except for I took off Phonesia and Dawnbringer. I put on High Priestess Chaska and the Fire God's Heart. All right, here is the low-level team. I would just double up on Egress, and I think a lot of people could just do this, even if you're high level. Um, it's the loopy, it's the new loopy journey troop. It's going to loop and loop and loop, and you're never going to lose. You have to use it anyway. You might as well double up on it. And if you're a low-level player, maybe consider something like Dancing Daggers so you can hit all enemies. It just doesn't hit them super hard, and I was uh, having trouble finding a time to cast it. But the idea would be to hit each enemy one time, and then they would have less HP than it takes for the Dancing Daggers to kill them all in one shot. So that's what I was going for, and it might work eventually. Like, maybe you have to hit the enemies twice, and they end up with, like, 12 HP left or something. Or maybe you have less magic than me, and you hit them, and they only have a certain amount of HP left, and you can use the Dancing Daggers to finish them off. I'm sure you see the theme here and the idea here. We're hitting each enemy once with Egress, and then we're trying to finish them off with some sort of AoE damage to make it faster. And these teams will work super fast in the very beginning, because you can just cast Dancing Daggers, you could just cast Phonesia, you could just cast High Priestess Chaska or Dawnbringer. So, that's what I was going for. 
Um, we got the new troop here at the bottom, Ehecatl. I don't know its name. Uh, it turns blue into yellow. It's empowered. Um, you could use that instead of Harpy Mage pretty much this whole time. But Harpy Mage is more reliable. It gets up on second turn every single time because it's 75% start. So I recommend Harpy Mage, but if you want to use the new troop, Ehecatl, it makes a, a light storm. It uh, changes blue to yellow. It's pretty good, so... That would be a good choice as well. I tried to show like every troop that I thought was good for this event on different teams here. So here we have Finesse. So I said, hey, what if you only have one uh, Egress? We could go Egress, Finesse, Dancing Daggers, and um, Ehecoddle, or maybe Harpy Mage, or whatever. Maybe another Finesse so you can get those stats. Because every time you cast that uh, Egress, you're going to get more stats from that Finesse. So just keep that in mind. I know somebody is going to say that in the comments, and that's a really good way to go. So yeah, if you want to do Finesse, it's really good because of its third trait. And it hits hard. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your get about the channel. Comment below, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.